So, Stephanie, how are you doing? Hi, Joe. I am very well, thank you. How are you on this fine morning? Yep, yeah, I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. I'm a little bit hungry. I've uh, I had a bit of breakfast this morning, but not anything proper. Mm, yes, I, I know what you mean. I'm a bit peckish myself. Ah, yep, yeah, a bit peckish. Yeah. yeah, to be honest, I've got family I'm living with, and uh, and they are next door making a full English. And yeah, I am so ready for it. To be honest, I want to eat that. I love a full English. Oh my goodness. Beans. What else? Hash browns. I love a hash I'll brown. stick it on I'll stick it on a on a on a full English. Yeah. Uh sausage, bacon, eggs, however you decide to have your eggs, you know. Poached for me. Poached my favourite, but it does take a bit longer. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean the, the art to the to the full English is is the timing, right? Everything's gotta be ready and hot at the same time. You're right. Are you someone who eats black pudding? Are you black pudding fan? I'll go there. I won't buy it. <laughs> um, but yeah, if it's like an option, I'm not going to say no, definitely. Okay. Give me everything. Yeah. Mushrooms, I'm ready for. Like, I, won't, <laughs> I won't put a grilled tomato on my plate, but if it comes in with the menu, I'm eating that as well. Yes, I don't get the grilled tomatoes. They just get all watery all over the plate and sog out your hash browns and things. It is weird. It is weird. Um, yeah. But yeah, I do love a full English. Um, I think it's one of my favourite things. If I was to stay at a hotel or something in the UK, you know, I always look forward to breakfast. Oh, man. Just, yeah, it's one of my favourites, uh, I would say. It's nothing. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, you compare it to like a European continental breakfast that you get if you go to France or something and you're like, what is, what, what is this? I mean, I love croissants. Yeah, like they're great, but they're not the same as a full English. Full English is just, yeah, it's the best. That's a snack. I, I mean, it's not a breakfast. Yeah. I remember, like, especially in Italy. I mean, in Spain, they eat, you know, they eat a decent sized breakfast and then they have like a something at, at lunch. But in, in Italy, I couldn't believe how little they eat. We, mm. in the UK, we like for breakfast. In the UK, we need something, you know, that fills us up and gets us ready for the day. Totally. Um, but, you know, talking of British food, I um. I actually made a cottage pie the other day. Are you a fan of cottage pie? I love a bit of cottage pie. How do you make it? I usually use, yeah, beef. So cottage pie would be beef. I think shepherd's pie would be lamb, mince. Yep. Um, I prefer beef, to be honest. Um, so yeah, beef, onions, some tomatoes, tin tomatoes, mm. a bit of garlic, a bit of um, Worcester sauce, very important. Important one. And yeah, lots of nice creamy mashed potato on top grated cheddar yep. and just all bubbly in the oven stick that in the oven oh. yeah it's really nice and i love to eat it with ketchup um and maybe some baked beans on the side okay interesting yeah i don't know if i have it with baked beans but I, that would definitely work mash and beans is a good combo yeah it's like that kind of texture thing right when it comes out the mm. oven the top is like crunchy and crispy and you can get into it and then you've got the mince underneath a lot of my students you know they come to london um, and of course, because London is such a, you know, multicultural city, you can find food from all around the world um, over here, which is one of the reasons why I love it. But they often come to me and say, um, what is British food? Mm. I am from London. So in my head, I, I have that experience uh, the same as you and, and your students. I suppose I didn't really know. We had the stuff that we would eat on, on a Sunday, like a roast, you know, some, yeah. like some roast chicken with vegetables, all the trimmings, you know, like uh, the, the carrots, the peas, roast potatoes, things like that. Shepherd's pie or cottage pie, like you said. And then the East London sort of signature meal is pie and mash. And that is a mm. that is something that I was yeah I I was kind of a staple for me I, <laughs> I was brought up on that so like and they reckon they believe that it's uh it's the oldest form of fast food in the world there's a really I'm surprised okay there's there's an East End uh, pie and mash shop on Hoxton Street in East London well North East London but um and that's been going for 160 years you know that food was to feed the, the dockers in the East End. So you'd go there quick mm -hmm. in the morning or for lunch and you just get your pre-made pies, mash and a bit of, they call it liquor. It's like a parsley sauce. It's not very appetizing. It's a bit, it's like looking, it's, it's like a green sauce. It's quite runny, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, liquid. Yeah, runny, liquidy kind of green sauce. That It doesn't look that natural on a pie. We're used to brown, mm. like gravy, you know? That's, yeah. We yeah. put green stuff on it. But 
Do you like that? Do you like liquor? I love it. I love it. Do you? I've never tried it, to be honest. I've never tried it, but I'd like to. Yeah, uh, that and a bit of chilli vinegar. I do like a bit of chilli, yeah. Um, um, I've started to like it. I mean, I used to eat everything kind of very bland. Um, well, not bland, but mild, let's say. So if I went for a curry, I'd always get the um, chicken korma or something like that. that was very kind of, yeah, mild, let's say. But um, nowadays, I like a bit more spice mm. in my life. And um, yeah, I've been trying hotter curries. In fact, curry is, um, is apparently one of um, the main established british foods as well yeah which- i suppose it's part of the it's like our history right so we however like people want to think about it we uh, have a, a connection with the east and lots of uh, and lots of spices etc and then but i think the curry became very big around the sort of 60s 70s when lots of people from india and bangladesh mm-hmm. and pakistan came to the uk and now it's basically our favorite meal right have you ever had a, a curry in birmingham I haven't. The best curry I've ever had, to be honest. I've never been to India, so I don't know what it's like there. But in Birmingham, yeah, we went to a Balti restaurant and it was the best one. I remember it to this day. This was about six years ago. best curry ever that's a that is a big thing i know most big cities uh in in the uk will have a curry mile where there'll be like a long long street where it's just uh indian bangladeshi uh food restaurants so in london it's in it's in east london brick lane is the famous one yeah. sort of shoreditch brick lane some of our listeners might have been in in, yeah. in manchester it's, it's the north of manchester the curry mile and there's one in bradford as well which is in yorkshire and uh, yeah, there you can get uh, a your curry if you wanted in a Yorkshire pudding. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, yeah, surely they don't go together. <laughs> it's a clash of cultures there. The Yorkshire pudding, I don't know, maybe you could explain uh, what a Yorkshire pudding is. Oh, I have made them before at home. Um, you need flour, eggs and flour, eggs, I think a bit of milk. And then you whisk it all up, you mix it all up, and it becomes like a kind of, um, like a batter, like a liquidy yeah, batter. Yeah. And then you've got to have a really, really hot oven yeah. with um, some hot oil or butter. And yeah, you kind of make these, I guess you would describe it as a kind of, almost like a very soft bread. And it rises up in the oven, it's crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. It's airy as well, isn't it? But the, mm. but the big thing about it is it's, it's shaped like a little bowl right it rises into a bowl shape so it's perfect if you want you can fill it with gravy you can fill it with whatever you like but yeah in yorkshire you can go to pubs where you just get a massive yorkshire pudding and it's basically the plate and you just all of the, all of the rest of the food goes in this big yorkshire pudding which is the bowl and yeah you can just yeah. eat your bowl more or less very um eco-friendly see yeah they do them at some festivals now as well it's like a good food to just walk around and so good so good i mean it's from what we've been saying all the food we've been talking about um i'd probably say that british food is quite heavy um, right? Like a bit stodgy. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, a lot of potato, a lot of um, pastry, butter, those sorts of things. All those good things. Yep. <laughs> uh, potato, pastry uh, and, and meat, I suppose. It's... Yes, meat, yeah. Pork is very popular, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It? Yeah, we love pork in many forms, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sausages and bacon, obviously, we're big, big fans of, yeah. Some pork chops. What about Cornish pasty? That is a fantastic, uh, what would you say that is? That there is like a... Uh, like a mini pie, really. Yeah. A portable pie. Yeah. Flaky pastry, right? Filled with um, usually beef, like traditionally it's beef. A bit of potatoes, some peas. Maybe some carrot sometimes. Yeah. I always find that they're quite peppery. Like that's kind of a thing. They're supposed to be. A, yeah. The point of them is that you're you're able to take them with you. It's like, a, again, a bit like the Yorkshire pudding, I suppose. Something that you can hold in your hands that has the starch, that has the carbohydrates and uh, and everything else that you need to eat, you know? Exactly, yeah. So it's like a little um, pocket lunch all in one. Yeah. I heard that um, apparently... Cornish pasties were invented for um, the miners who used to spend, you know, hours out in the mines and they'd need a substantial lunch. Um, so they would pop one or two maybe in their pocket. Okay. And um, yeah, as you said, they'd get everything they need for the day. Just holding it in a pouch, you know? Yeah. You can't be using knives and forks in the in the, in the mines. No, exactly, exactly. Um, so do you have a 
a favorite British food or I don't know if even a favorite British dessert because desserts here to be honest you know that I've I've tried desserts in a lot of other countries and I always go back to British desserts I love them you know what I had and I hadn't had for a long time since I've you know I've been away for quite a long time I had the other day I had apple crumble with custard and I just just I mean custard I hadn't had custard for a long time it took me back I got very nostalgic oh. I, I, yeah I felt like I was in primary school again like I, mm-hmm. I should be sitting on a little chair with little yeah. little knife and fork or a spoon you know custard yeah. apple crumble Mm. I was in heaven. Delicious, yeah. What's yours? For sweet stuff, I'd definitely say I love um, Victoria sponge, which apparently was invented by Queen Victoria herself. Oh, yeah? Um, for, for afternoon tea, yes. Um, <laughs> it's basically, yeah, um, like a vanilla sponge cake, let's say, filled with jam. I like raspberry jam in mine, um, but some people put strawberry jam. Um, and some nice freshly whipped cream or buttercream. That is a fantastic, that is a fantastic one. If we're on the topic, high tea is a fancy thing. I actually have never really had it the way that it look, you're supposed to have it. It's very decorative, right? So you have, is it the one where you have a three layers, right? Is there an order to which they go? I know that you have <laughs> you have like finger sandwiches, right? Yes, very dainty finger sandwiches yeah. at the bottom. So small sandwiches yeah. and then scones. Now, do you say scone or scone? I say scone. What do you say? I say scone. High five, virtual high five. Virtual high five. Um, yeah, I, 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 for me, I hear more, maybe Americans say scone. I don't know. Americans, Americans make scones, but they call them biscuits. Ah, that's true, yeah. I don't know. We call biscuits something else. Um, they, they say cookies, we say biscuits. Yeah. We say scone, they say biscuits. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Their ones are salty, right? I think theirs are more savoury. Yeah. And ours are for sweet stuff. Yeah, no. So you used to have your tea, drink your tea very politely. What time would you think? About two-ish? Yeah, like 2, 3 p.m. Okay. I think. Some tea, some little sandwiches. And then afterwards, would you have your scones? Do you work your way up the tray? Yeah, so it goes finger sandwiches at the bottom. Middle tray would be, yeah, scones with cream and jam. And then if you're feeling extra indulgent, the top um, layer would be like little cakes, you know, like mini cakes or maybe a slice of Victoria sponge. So it gets sweeter as you go up. Yeah. <laughs> that lovely jubbly. That sounds. I love that sort of thing. It's very popular for birthday treats and things like that. Um, I've seen so many groups of usually women, I would say, groups of women or girls like kind of going to a cafe and treating themselves to an afternoon tea, maybe with a glass of Prosecco on the side or champagne if you're feeling flush. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy for Prosecco or Cava. I love Cava. Apparently in, in, in England, Cava's kind of seen as the... The cheap version. The cheaper version. But I think it tastes great. Yeah, I'm a big fan. But not till later. Yeah? But, yeah, not now, not now. And now, as it's Friday, maybe... Uh, will you be having any fish? I know that that's a pretty common thing. <laughs> There's a there's a fish and chip shop round right near me which does these massive portions of fish. See Yum. fish and chips probably the most the meal most synonymous with with the UK. <laughs> uh, and this fish and chip shop every Friday because traditionally uh, Christians will eat fish on Fridays. This fish and chip shop has people lining up in a queue around the block. It's so popular. Really. All this talk of food has made me think. Let's get some fish and chips later. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I I don't think I eat fish chips on a Friday to be honest I don't eat it that much um maybe I should eat it more because it is really tasty but <laughs> now we're in London once the quarantine's lifted go get some yeah. chips with the gang anyway uh I fancy a little bit more food I think before we start the day's <laughs> lesson so I might I might try and get in on that Phil English um yeah definitely go for it yeah. all right well <laughs> lovely chatting with you all this talk all this talk has made me famished so I'm ready yeah I'm ready. me too I think I need a snack yeah so let's uh, let's uh, let's call it a day and all right and head off. Have a fantastic weekend, Steph. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.